What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to talk about some awesome investment cards and then some absolute duds as investment cards. Uh, a lot of you guys have been uh, coming to the streams and telling me, oh, well, I think this car is great for it. I think this car is great for it. Um, and a lot of times it scares me because uh, the car that you're talking about is absolutely not a good investment car. Um, so we're gonna you know, jump into you know how to tell if it's a good investment card real quick too on top of the fact uh, or on top of you know what's good and what's not good investment cards uh we're gonna you know slide in um how to understand what's good for investing and stuff and then you know when to sell those investments because that's a question i get a lot too um so so we're gonna kind of tackle all of that real quick uh on top of what the best investment cards are right now so right out of the gate uh I'm just going to tell you guys what the two best investment cards are, and then we're going to go into what aren't great investment cards at the moment, and then, uh, you know, how to tell all that stuff. So the two absolute best investment cards right now is the Toyota Trano and the Honda CRX Mugen. Now, um, if you look at, you know, my cars, obviously, you can see if we head over to Honda, um, I, I put my money where my mouth is. You can see I obviously have a lot less money than I had last time. You guys check. You can see I've got a lot. And I mean a lot of Mugens. And then if we head over to Toyota, um, I am also not fibbing you there. Um, I am completely invested in uh, the Terrenos um, and the Mugens. Uh, we've got about 20 to 30 of each. Um, now, how I know that these are going to be good cars is because one, the uh, Mugen didn't have any bugs. That messed with it the car is out of the playlist and drastically increasing in price the car can already be listed for a pretty ridiculous price um it was 7.5 earlier today but every single time i say that i go to try to post it again and it goes even higher so we'll check and just confirm real quick it is at 9.4 so that's why i don't open my mouth so this car has actually jumped uh twice in two days so once a day um it's already at 9.4 million they are instant selling on the auction house so this is how you tell that a car is still worth investing in and a lot of you guys keep asking, well, you know, how do you know that I should still be investing in it? It's at 9.4 million. That's a ridiculous price. Well, if you search it and there is a ton on the market like there is right now, that is one of two things. That is people who are panic selling at the absolute max price and selling out their entire stock. You can see a lot of people have the same name. Singe, 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 singe. Um, this M900 guy. Um, you can see it's, it's people who have multiples Jitax. So I don't know who these people are, but obviously it's people who are panic selling. So there actually isn't that many up right now. I mean, this, this might seem like a bot, but there isn't that many. I would give this time, honestly. And I think this car's still going to raise in price. I wouldn't just absolutely panic sell all of them right now. You can see a lot of these are posted by the same people. So if, I mean, if you take away the singe guys alone and the M900 guys, I mean, there's probably five to 10 posted right now. I mean, these are majority posted by the same people and they're and, and a lot of people are going to look at this and they're going to see that one or two people posted a ton of them and they're going to go, oh, geez, the car is absolutely maxed out. I just sell right now. I, I think these cars are going to still go up in price. I think these are going to somewhat get bought out um, and, and keep raising just a little bit. But that being said, if you're if you're, you know, wanting your nine point four million, you didn't invest that much and you really just want to cash out and get whatever money you can right now, then absolutely sell at 10 million. No big deal um you're still making good money i mean you're just missing out on potential profits if the car does continue to go up um but yeah and then that that's kind of how you're going to want to gauge to sell your cars though is if this really really fills up and i mean really fills up this isn't that bad i mean i can scroll all the way down in just a couple seconds and there's only you know four cars per little page here so i mean this this really isn't that many but um, if this is empty, that means the car is still skyrocketing in price and the cars are getting instant bought out. Um, if this looks like this, I think the prices are still going to go up. And I think this is majority just a couple people panic selling. Um, the thing, the same thing happened with the Hunicorn V2. Um, people panic sold at $8 million and they weren't selling out fully. And now they're at $12 million or $12.5 million. So just, just be aware there is panic selling and stuff like that. Um, but but once it fills up like that, that's usually when you want to sell. Um and if it's not filled up, it's it's definitely still skyrocketing in price. And you definitely want to be investing in them still if it's not filled up. Uh, I still think it's a very snipeable car. Just try to pay under, you know, seven million or six million, whatever, or follow the 50% rule and pay much less. Um, the Civic Coupe is 100% a sell car. I mean, it's hit 80 to 20 million. Sell this car. 
immediately. If you guys have any investments in the Civic Coupe, sell it. Uh, and then uh, I just want to say that while we're on Honda real quick, I know we're all over the place right now. But um, the uh, second car we were talking about that is an absolute um, banger for investing is the Toyota Trano. You can see there's none in the market right now. Um, I actually watched these go from 3.5 to 4.8 million uh, almost immediately. Uh, today, I literally watched it happen, which is why I started investing in them pretty heavily. They are a wheel spin car though, so don't expect these to hit 20 million. Um, I say if these get up to 10 million, that's a good selling point. But obviously, like I said, you'll literally be told when to sell these cars, when the list starts to fill up with them um, and people aren't buying them out immediately. Um, but as long as people are buying these cars out immediately, then they're worth more than they're selling for at, at the current time. Um, cars that I would not invest in. Now, if you already have investments in these, sell them or be patient and take a risk. The DeLorean. Uh, I am, I'm currently waiting on this. It's at a million. It is raising in price, but so gradually. And you got to remember people have, like myself even have a ridiculous amount of these. Um, hold them if you want. Sell them if you want. They're worth about a million. If you got 25, you make 25 million is what it is there. Um, but I would not, you know, put all your eggs in that basket. I don't think it's a safe investment. Subaru 22B. This car has uh, absolutely peaked out in price. For whatever reason, I'm not really sure why, but um, that is definitely a car that you can comfortably sell, I think, at this point. Um, it actually dropped in price, so I, I was hearing that it was at about 3 point something million, um, and now it has dropped to 2.2, so I think this is a absolute panic mode. Sell this car right now. Um, get rid of it. Um, yeah, that is that is a panic sale for sure. And uh, I think that is pretty much it. The Subaru 22B and the DeLorean were the ones I really wanted to touch base on as cars not to invest in. I mean, as far as the festival playlist, uh, the Zeruno is not an investment car. It's already maxed out in price. It's a snipeable car and a flippable car, but not an investment car at all. Ferrari Dino is not an investment car. The GT05 is not an investment car. And the Pagani Hoira BC is not an investment car. Um, so the only thing you want to focus on really for investments is the Trano and the CRX Mugen. And that is how investing works. Um, you're going to want to buy these cars while they're in the playlist. Uh, and once they get posted in the playlist, they're going to be at their absolute lowest price. And the most influx of them is going to be posted. The largest influx of them is going to be posted on the market. Um, and then you're going to want to wait for them to leave the playlist for at least a week or two for them to hit max value um, and then sell out once the market starts to fill up with them because that means that they are not getting bought out instantly, which means the price should not consider or should not continue to increase unless they're getting bought out gradually in which it still will increase. Just like I think that the um, Mugens will still continue to increase. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I will be hopefully releasing a auction sniping montage sooner than later. Uh, we will start doing giveaways sooner than later. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys and uh, thank you for watching.